All right, God bless. I'll make this real quick about nicotine. Quitting nicotine was extremely difficult, but it's very, very beneficial. I heard Joe Rogan say it on his podcast once before that nicotine is an amazing drug if the delivery system is horrible. And that's true. And he went on to talk about Stephen King. Stephen King's my man. I like his work. Stephen King, when he quit smoking, he had a lot of trouble writing. He had started getting a lot of writer's block because, you know, there's something about the, the nicotine and the stimulant and it just gets you going, you know. And, it's a, cre and it's, it's a habit. It's such a habit-forming thing, you know. If you're writing and whatever and, you know, even dipping. And I love smoking. I love I loved tobacco. I love tobacco products. I Tobacco is always a comforting thing. It was always a comforting thing. It was always seen as a commodity. It was always seen as, like, the sinful commodity. The things that people always have, you know, alcohol and uh, tobacco. And that's what it took to heart. That's what, you know, what it was. As a kid, I got hooked on uh, nicotine. I started smoking when I was 14. And I lived in Germany. Hanging around people I shouldn't. Worked with people. I worked as a bagger at the commissary. Working with older people. Getting alcohol and tobacco back then, it was not difficult at all. And I was good. I held out for a long time, but then it started slow. All right, yeah, I'll try a cigarette. Well, all right, I'll try some drinking. Sure, I'll try that joint. You know, and it goes from there. So, but, and it is, the, the nicotine is a stimulant. And when you quit it, that was that's the most difficult part, is just being content and just sitting there. When you wake up, you know, you don't have that, that little, uh, that, that boost. You can get your, nicot your caffeine or whatever, but it's not the same. You feel empty, you feel lonely, and it's hard. At first, it's so irritable. Especially if you're vaping. When I was, Because I was vaping, and that thing is the most addictive of all. Because you are hitting that thing all day long. It says on the box, it's got like 15,000 hits. Even if that's inaccurate, and it's say half that, like 7,500 hits. You're hitting that thing 7,500 times. Just all day long. I was. I'd wake up, even in the middle of the night, roll over. Hit it a few times. Wake up in the morning, getting ready, hitting it. You know, um, eating breakfast, eat dinner. I'd have it there. I'm gonna go eat dinner. Even before I take a shower, I'd have it, hitting it. Shh, turn on the water, shh, get in the shower. Shh, shh. It was that bad. Ah, right, of course, using the restroom. Shh, it's all day. Breaks at work. That is difficult, too, because I'm like, all right, cool, it's my work break, and I'll go hurry up, and I'll like, eat a sandwich or drink some coffee or something, and then I go in my car, and I'm like, you know, maybe read or something, but it's just something's missing, and it is. You're chasing that dragon. That is all you're doing all day long is chasing that dragon. Yes, nicotine, it feels great. Nicotine and caffeine, in my opinion, are the best legal high in the world. My favorite. I love caffeine. I love nicotine. Um, yeah, maybe that's not biblically accurate to say I love a substance, but I did. It felt good. You know, nothing, nothing like it. You know, drinking energy drink and having a dip, having a smoke, you know, it didn't, and it's bad though. It's bad for your heart. It's bad for everything. <laughs> but, uh, the nicotine itself, is it a good drug? I don't know. But the delivery system is horrible. Even if you buy the nicotine pouches and you put them in your lip, it tears up your gums. When I was dipping, yeah. Tears up. Your gums. Smoking is bad for everything. Your throat, your gums, your uh, lungs, everything. Your heart health. But the biggest things that will help. If you're a veteran you and you go to the VA clinic, if you've got a VA clinic or hospital, you can go and you can request the quit smoking stuff. And they'll give you the nicotine gum and pouches for free. Um, I recommend getting normal gum. It's on chewing now. I got off the nicotine. That was hard. The, the nicotine alone, because you're getting so much nicotine all day. Like, one of these is 4 milligrams, and this is 21 milligrams for over a 24-hour period. Which, when you're, when you're vaping and you're dipping, that's not that much. Or if you're using those pouches that are like 6 milligrams a piece, this isn't that much in the long run. But it does. It helps you sustain it. And I noticed at a certain point, I wasn't, I don't think I was craving the nicotine because I had the pouch, or the patch. But it was the habit. The habit was the most difficult thing to break. Because you're constantly used to it just all day, all day. You're just chasing that dragon. You know, sucking that pipe. Just embarrassing, really. But I wanted to get off it finally. You know, it's not good for my kids to constantly be sitting and then hitting that vape and then breathing that crap in if they're... I try to not blow it right around them. You know, if they're in the room watching a movie. But... 
<laughs> either way you look at it, it's not good. Ask God. Ask God for help. It's difficult. It's very difficult. Drink, drink, quitting drinking is a whole different thing. That was its own fight and its own struggle in its own right. Nicotine is a whole different ball game. They're two separate things. You know, I recommend doing one before the other. But, um, quit drinking first, then get to the nicotine. Because you do want that little comfort item, but stick with it. God bless.